Hi friends, welcome to Anthropology Answer Writing Sessions. As part of Anthropology Mentorship 24, every day we are writing one question and this is day one. It was posted on 29th September and the question was, what are the different stages of growth? Describe any one of them in detail. See, this is part of our targeted study and every day we give one topic as a target and a question will be there from that topic. All right. So for this, let me take one of the answers of the student and let me discuss the various aspects of this answer, like what we are going to write it in introduction, body and conclusion. See the same aspects we see in GS papers, but compared to GS papers, here slight variation will be there in all the optionals. And one more important thing, this was asked in previous year question 2014. So we are focusing on pre YQs because in optionals they get repeated or at least the themes get repeated. So let us look at the approach to this answer and some of the points. See in the introduction, we need to write the scholarly definition wherever it is possible. As the question is asking, what are the different stages of growth? So it would be better to define growth anthropologically and describe any one of them in detail. Okay. So as per Malina, growth can be defined as quantitative change in size and mass of the body. Now there are three types of growths. You can say multiplicative growth and dimensional growth, which increases the size or inter intercellular substances and accretionary growth which increases the intracellular substances. So these are the three types of growth which increases the number of cells as well as the size of the cell. As a result, we see there is a quantitative increasing in the number as well as size of the body. And it begins from the fertilization itself and continued till death except in some, some neurons and some muscles. Everywhere else you can see regeneration of the cells and increase in the size of the cells. Now, let us enter into the slowly the body part of it. What are the different stages of the growth? We will be beginning from prenatal stage. That is at the gametic level, there is gamete sperm and egg that gives us the fertilized egg and this fertilized egg becomes embryo. So we are beginning from the embryotic stage fertilization to till the birth. Within this, there are further stages, but we need to write the broad ones here because it is not asked in detail. Any one of them we need to write. So fertilization to nine months, that is till natal stage birth. Then there is birth, which is called natal stage. Then there is infancy. See here, a small mistake has been done. Birth itself is a stage. The beginning and ending of the natal stage happens with the birth itself. Then from then to uh, like let's say up to two years, you can say infancy, then childhood, then adolescence and then adulthood. In this adulthood also, like you have maturity, mature adult, then slowly it turns into a senescence. Then finally, it leads to ultimate destination that is death. So, har ek insan ka, har ek organism ka, birth se lekar, jo death sak, different, different stages hai, unhi ko growth stages kehte hai. And death is the ultimate, you no, know, you can say destination. So we are talking about natural death here. Now, what, what was the demand of the question? After explaining some of these, we need to go for one particular uh, you no know, stage. So that's where the student has explained like the general body rate, growth rate varies at all these different, different stages. And the growth curve has been shown how uh, the growth happens from the beginning till the senescence times. You can look at it here, the presentation. See the speed in the growth on y-axis and the number of years on the x-axis is taken. And you can see in the childhood, there is a growth spurt is there. So you can say in humans, we find these growth spurts two times. One is during that early childhood. Then second is during the adolescence. So there is a growth spurt. And after let's say 25 uh, years maximum, so in some cases you can see up to 25 years otherwise it is like by 20 the growth you no know, saturation appears then there is no further growth okay except in some sense so this happens and it continues and later stages like post reproductive there is deleterious genes and 
सेनेसेंस विल स्टार्ट अकरिंग सो यहां पर हमने क्या बताया था द जनरल स्टेजेस ऑफ द ग्रोथ हैज बीन मेंशन नाउ द डिमांड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज एनी वन ऑफ देम हैज टू बी एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल सो द स्टूडेंट हैज टेकन इनफेंसी एंड चाइल्डहुड ओके लेट अस लुक एट दिस ऑफ कोर्स इट स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम द बर्थ टाइम अंटिल द 10 इयर्स यू कैन से पोस्ट नटल पीरियड टू 10 इयर्स ऑफ एज what are the different aspects here see the general body growth is there is a rapid growth till 2 years however during this mid childhood the growth slows down even if you are generally you uh, know speaking after the birth uh, initially there is some waning there is some loss of bodily fluids and all there is a reduction on the weight then there is a rapid growth where the height as well as weight gains rapidly so here the example is given the weight of the child at 3 years is usually 5 times that of the birth weight after that he only gains 2 to 3 kilos per year okay and the child achieves around 100 cm of height until or by the time of the 4 years so weight and height both of them and their rate has been mentioned here then with respect to circumference of the chest so at the time of the birth see the circumference of the head is more than that of the chest because we have bigger brain then later by the time of one year it is equal and by the time of one year the circumference of the chest takes over it becomes bigger than the the head so that also indicates the growth in this so it is an exception for the undernourished children of course malnourishment then the other thing can happen so the same has been again graphically represented ठीक है सो यू लुक एट द प्रेजेंटेशन आल्सो इट आल्सो मैटर्स देन ग्रॉस मोटर स्किल्स और ग्रॉस मोटर डेवलपमेंट्स जैसे कोऑर्डिनेशन है आई कोऑर्डिनेशन हैंड टू माउथ कोऑर्डिनेशन हैंड टू आई कोऑर्डिनेशन ऐसे जो कोऑर्डिनेशन है एंड लाइक वॉकिंग सिटिंग अप क्रॉलिंग ऐसे वाला जो स्किल्स है उससे रिलेटेड सी बाई थ्री मंथ्स द इन्फेंट कैन लिफ्ट हिज नो हेड एंड सपोर्ट हिज वेट ऑन दी आर्म्स then uh, see 5 to 8 months in infant can roll on the bed so jaise aise palatna theek hai and sitting sitting up okay by then kamar ka jo bones wagera jo hai strong hota hai pelvic bone and all then the child is able to sit by 8 to 10 months you can say crawling or creeping and of course yahan par ek cheez missing hai eye coordination ka i think uh, later he has included that we will discuss that as well eye coordination okay then by one year walking without support okay by 2 to 3 years the child is able to even climb the stairs then fine motor development this is where eye coordination has been kept by one month time the child can uh, you know move the objects agar aap bachche ke samne koi bhi object ko aise idhar udhar move karenge the child will also give the eyeing to that object and hand to eye coordination you know it develops between 4 to 6 months similarly hand to mouth coordination see it begins by the time of like one year or so but the child is able to self feed by the time of one and a half year two years okay and hand skills began to develop after two years now apart from that limboid growth most not uh, it is most noticeable during the mid childhood okay and similarly the brain growth which we have seen earlier case also at the birth the brain size is 60 to 70% of the expected head size then slowly it increases and reaches to that you no know, uh, level almost 90% by the time of 2 years and then slowly it increases so we have the you no know, average brain capacity of 450 cc and finally it reaches more or less to that then language development see by one month uh the child at no tends to the curious sounds the noises that we can make so even uh, some sort of uh, shock some sort of uh, no responses will be given by the child so by 9 to 10 months there will be like uh, understanding of the speech or monosyllables will be uttered by the kid like dada mamma this kind of uh, monosyllables then by 1 to 2 years there is a true development of the speech then similarly cultural development see two months by the two months time social uh, like uh, smiling back and by three to four months recognizing their mother or father like a close kins and by six months showing anxiety on meeting new strangers like if you wanted to give the child who was of six or seven months 
age, they don't go to the strangers. Similarly, by one year, child is capable of mimicking the access, you know, actions. This is what we call it as observational learning. So there is observational learning development in the children. Okay. Then by one to 10 years, learning all socio, cultural, religious, educational aspects where different like uh, role of different institutions like family, educational institutions, friends, society, etc. They contribute. Okay. So these are all the various aspects in the same growth stage of infancy has been shown infancy and childhood. Okay. So after writing all these, then the conclusion comes here. Say, however, growth has its significance in the child development. And of course, this growth is influenced by the nutrition and the environment, both physical and social environment. Please remember physical and social environment. So it highly depends upon it. So that has to be ensured. And if there is any growth retardation, if any you no know, uh, attentions are required, then that has to be supplemented. So if the you know, growth and development happens properly in the society, then we can say that society is going to have a healthy human resources stock. Okay, so that will provide us the good human capital. So it is very, very essential. And based on this, we can formulate our nutritional policies and human capital related policies and all. Okay, that's the reason why it has so much of significance. So on this positive note, we have concluded. Now, if we are to evaluate it, see understanding of the you no know, demand of the question, it is excellent. Structuring of the answer is also very good. You can say excellent or you know, in between good and very good. Excellent. Okay, then conceptual clarity is also excellent. Even uh, the content that has been used, content is also good because the presentation was good plus the use of the examples and there was you no know, anthropological touch, uh, scholarly definitions are there. Along with that, scholarly measurements like the scientific anthropometric measurements that we take in order to measure the growth and development has been duly mentioned. Along with that, the presentation of the answer with the diagrams and everything is good and language and articulation is also very simple and plain to understand. So you can say this is one of the best answers of that day. That's the reason why I've taken this to give this some value addition. Okay, here the content is going to be same. See if somebody else wants to write this same answer with let's say adolescent stage there the that particular detailing stage will vary and rest of the points will continue. So I hope it is useful. Okay, I have already given the detailed feedback to the student. This is for you guys. You can also you know, take some points from here and start practicing your answers. So that's it this part for this particular uh, you no know, answer writing session. I hope it is useful. If it is, you know what to do. Friends, if you have seen this video till now, that means the content is useful to you. If it is, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. It gives a lot of motivation to continue this series. If you have already subscribed, thank you very much.